Hey, what's going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Welcome to the Body Beatdown. I'm Michael, your amazingly incredible host. Uh, hope you've been watching all my videos. I've uploaded some today, so go watch them if you haven't. Or I swear to you. Okay. Anyway, I went to Walmart today. Yay. To get a little groceries. That's where I need. I just needed to go there today to get a few things that I can't get somewhere else and uh, I'm not really looking for more, pro uh, more protein today necessarily I've got enough to last me a f you know a month or so but I just noticed this new thing that I noticed I'm sure it's not new and uh, organic plant protein I'll let you look at the label here if you can see it which you most likely cannot. Who knows? Well, like, there's not a whole lot of anything in there. And what I like about it is it's low calorie and it has a decent amount of protein, 16 grams. That ain't too bad. I think it was $10, uh, 10 or $12, I don't remember. Uh, hardly no carbs, no sugars, cholesterol, None, sodium only 150 milligrams, total fat 2 grams, trans fats 0, saturated 0, uh, 17 servings per container, and it is 3 scoops uh, per serving. Uh, I don't know how well this is, I don't know how good it is, I didn't do any research, I just seen it on the shelf and I was like, that's interesting. But it's gluten free and what have you, so it's something that I'm trying now, I'll be honest, uh, over the past couple of years, I've went to, you know, e even before I started working out, for some reason, I started uh, using protein again. And I found this one. Uh, this is my one that I've been using now since, even before I started working out again. And uh, I get this one at Kroger. It started out about 11 or $12 or whatever for a little tub. And now it's up to about 14 and they can't seem to uh, get it in stock. I've grabbed like the last couple off the shelf and uh, they never seem to get it back in there. But this one is one scoop, calories 80, total fat uh, 0 0.5 grams, cholesterol 20, total carbs 2 grams, protein is 18 grams, calcium 90. Sodium 55, potassium 100, L-glutamine, which is good, 75 milligrams, that's good, you need some L-glutamine. Uh, there's not a whole lot of ingredients in this, but there's more ingredients in this than there is probably both of these new ones that I bought. I also bought another one yesterday when I went to Walmart. I seen a review on this and uh, on uh, YouTube. A guy went in Walmart and was looking at all the proteins and talking about them. And this one here, IsoPure, IsoPure. Uh, this literally has nothing in it uh, but protein. They do have a chocolate flavored one that really don't, it probably ain't horrible, but the list of ingredients was like a lot more. This one here, ingredients, whey protein isolate, soy, lecithin or whatever, contains milk and soy. That's it. Uh, calories 100 uh, per scoop is one scoop. Well, it says it's 29 grams per scoop, whatever. Total fat zero, cholesterol five, sodium 160, total carbohydrates zero, total sugars zero, includes zero added sugars, protein 25 grams, which that's good. Uh, calcium 80 milligrams. So, as far as if you're looking for something like pure, like really, really pure, and I would say probably about as good a protein as you're going to get on the market, uh, this looks pretty good. So this was $20, it was $19 and some change, but just $20. Uh, supposedly 16 servings. Uh, the one that I get all the time has uh, about 18 servings. Uh, and this one, supposedly about 18 servings. And I said this one here had what? Yada, yada, yada. 
yada yada about 17 servings so that's not bad for 10 or 12 dollars whatever that was now i don't know the difference in the proteins really i just know that whey protein isolate is looked at as one of the better proteins that you can get now many many years ago when i worked out uh before my 2007 to 2010 11-ish uh go that i had before then there was a time whenever i would take anything and whatever i could find i didn't care uh weight gainers proteins creatines l-glutamines and whatever else i could find uh, it didn't matter i took it by the tubs and uh all i know is i don't need weight gainer i gain weight really easily so i don't need weight gainers i just need protein now how do we know that these things work guys how do we know that these things are even working? I have no idea how you know if they're even working. Do you know? Because I have no idea. It's just protein, so I don't assume you're going to take protein and start jumping off the wall. It's not really a pre-workout, per se, you know? So, uh, I'm not sure. You know, I don't know how we can judge how they work. So, all I know is this one is really good as far as taste. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this is the cost I think it costs a little bit high a little bit much I don't think it should be over ten dollars personally I don't think much of any of this kind of stuff should be that expensive but it is because it's a hot commodity and it has been for the last 20 years so believe me I was taking proteins and weight gainers late 90s early 2000s by the load 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 <laughs> and I didn't need all that crap so uh, anyway, it's just uh, something I'd kind of show you and let you see what you can go get. This one here is, is as pure, to my knowledge, as you can get. Like, that's really good, to my knowledge. Uh, and uh, from what that guy said on YouTube, he, he looked at it pr uh, pretty highly. So, and then this one here, organic plant, pea and canoia, or whatever, protein powder. Sorry, I don't know that stuff. Uh, soy gluten and dairy free 16 grams of protein and uh, yeah you can use it in whatever really um, so I uh, just I did get done just doing my deadlift day um, just a few minutes ago I uploaded I got the video done and got it uploaded and all that so it's been a little bit so uh, I get a little thrown off on Saturdays because during the week Monday through Friday I work out typically around 4 to about 4.15 or so. I'll start working out in the afternoon. And uh, after I work out, then I make my food and I'm eating. Or I've already got my food going while I'm working out. So uh, whenever I'm doing, whenever on uh, like Saturdays, whenever I do deadlift day, if I work out kind of early, I'm kind of in between a lot of times. And so I don't get to, you know, go from working out to feeding my body like you kind of should do so uh, we're about an hour and a half or so before I'm gonna even worry about supper tonight and uh, it is my cheat day so I'm gonna have something pretty good I'll show you that later no I won't I won't show you that I'm gonna have a steak and some french fries I bought something uh, at the store so uh, I'm gonna make me a little shake out of one of these I'm not even sure uh, let me get back to you in just a moment whenever I figure it out because we're gonna taste test we're going to taste test probably one of these together. This has got no flavor, and this has got, I don't know what kind of flavor. I don't know. So, let me figure that out. I'll get back with you in a moment. All right, I think I made my choice, guys. I think I'm going to open this package here. Haven't even opened it yet. I'm going to try this one here, and uh, I got some of this the other day as well. And I made a video about it. I'm sure you watched it. Some powdered peanut butter. I've been using that in my pre-workout meal that I make. Adding that in. And this got like 6 grams of protein per... 6 grams of protein per serving. A serving is 2 tablespoons. I probably eat a smidgen bit more tablespoons. But, uh... It's good stuff. And, uh... Yeah, you can use it for whatever. I don't... And this, this little scoop here is what came out of my, one of these that I'd already gone through. And uh, I just thought, well, I'll put it in here. 
I don't fill it all the way up or nothing. I'll get it about down like so. And, uh, I haven't even, I haven't made a protein shake in forever because I, uh, I just, uh, I just don't. <laughs> so we'll do that. Now I'll open this. Tore open really nice, really straight, really nice. I think it's got a little scoop in it. I think I felt, I felt it in one of those. Ah, uh, yeah, we got a little scoop here. Oh, that's a big scoop. Good Lord. One, about one scoop. Okay, we'll do about one scoop then. I'll do just shy of a scoop, just shy. Uh, we do have a little bit of dead space off in there. I might put one little bitty smidgen off in the uh, off in the cup here. Okay, and then just one little one little bit more. Just for the heck of it, guys. Okay. Looks pretty good to me. Uh, I think I might go ahead and put a banana in there, even though I've already had a couple of bananas today. Do I want to put a banana in there? Not really. I know what I'll do. I'll put some of my sugar-free syrup that I get, or a calorie-free uh, calorie syrup that I buy. Uh, yes, there's more healthy options with honey and such, I'm sure molasses and what have you I'm sure it's more healthy but I'm looking at calories and this really don't have a whole heck of a lot in it I mean this has no calories but uh I just you know want to do things how I want to do things so we'll put just a smidgen in here just for a little yumminess all right I'd say that was probably a tablespoon. I don't know. Pretty close. All right. So you know whenever you buy flavorless stuff like this, you can literally put it in anything and you won't taste it, but you'll get benefits from the protein. So let me get some water. A little bit of water. Now I don't have any ice or anything and my water is room temperature. That stuff don't bother me. Hopefully that will mix up nicely. Let's take a look see. I hope this blender even works. I haven't used it in forever. I do know it's broke. This used to kind of screw in a little bit and lock but it don't do that no more so. Uh, take a look, see here. We'll see if it even works. There we go. Now I did have a, uh, all right. Mm. Good stuff, tastes like peanut butter. Add a little bit more in there just to make sure I get every little drop. So anyway,
I just wanted to uh, kind of introduce you to some new stuff that I found over the last, you know, few days. A couple times I've been to the store. And uh, this here was in like, I don't even remember the aisle. Maybe the oil aisle where all the oils and stuff were in. It was like maybe at the end. I don't even remember, but it was just like a little area that was set up and it had like a bunch of like different stuff kind of like this. And I was like, I think I'll try that. So eventually I'm going to get, uh, I'm going to try, sorry. Eventually I'm going to try this one, see how it is. So, hey, if you've tried any of these, uh, let me know what you think. If you look at them and uh, dissect them and uh, look at the ingredients and all that kind of stuff, Kind of let me know what you think about it, you know. Uh, again, we can only be so picky and choosy. Uh, you know, we kind of have to get what we can get. But uh, those, all of those seem like that's some pretty decent quality stuff. And I'm pretty happy with it. So, anyway, I uh, hope you guys have a good rest of the day. Good weekend. Uh, be positive. Be awesome. Inspire someone along the way. Inspire yourself because you are super duper important. Alright? Don't forget... Get up, get out, get ready and do it to it. Oh, and also don't forget, check out the Body Beatdown with me. Michael, your incredible host. We'll see y'all later. Now what am I going to do? Get up, get out, get ready and do it to it.